Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to go over the electron configuration of chlorine and argon. And I'll be using the diagonal rule method, and it works for almost every element on the periodic table. But there are some exceptions, and I'll leave a list of these elements at the end of the video. Let's first draw our chart. I'll start with the s orbital and number 1 through 7, then the p orbitals, then the d orbitals, then the f orbitals. The s orbitals can hold up to 2, the p orbital up to 6, the d orbital up to 10, and then the f orbital up to 14. And please notice that it goes up by 4 each time. So now let's get started with chlorine. We first need to figure out how many electrons that chlorine has. And if you notice, it has an atomic number of 17. So it will have 17 electrons. So I will start at the 1s, and it can take up the two electrons, so it will be 1s2. Then I move to the 2s, so that will be 2s2. Then I move to the p orbital, and it can take up to six, so that will be 2p6. Then I'll move to the s orbital, 3s2. So that leaves five left over, because at this point, I have 12. I've used up 12 electrons, so that will be 3p5. And then if you'd like, you can draw it uh, using the noble gas, uh, and it will look like this. Next, let's move on to argon. Argon has an atomic number of 18, so it will have 18 electrons. I will start at the 1s, so that will be 1s2. Then move to the 2s, that will be 2s2. Then 2p6. Then move to the 3s, so that will be 3s2. And then finally, that leaves 6 left over, so it will be 3p6. And here it is drawn as a noble gas using the noble gas. And then, if you'll notice, here are the exceptions to the diagonal rule. And I hope that helps with the electron configuration of chlorine and argon. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.